What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Ace Attorney with an Actual Lawyer. We are here to start on case four of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, the much beloved uh, original end to the Japanese version of the game. Once again, we have our actual voice actor, Wes. Yo! <laughs> that was very good. And our actual lawyer, Bridge. Remember, nothing I say here counts as actual legal advice, <laughs> and nothing I tell you creates a lawyer-client uh, relationship between myself <laughs> and anyone in chat. He has to say that. <laughs> legally, legally, he has to say that. Theoretically, <laughs> I, that is something I should technically say. <laughs> there we go. Uh, interesting. I should, dis I should disclaim that I'm not trying Shit. to give anyone legal advice, and I'm not trying to establish any... Uh, Attorney-client relationships. Yo, I, don't, I, just I, don't, I don't because that'd be ridiculous, but... Hell yeah. We could all go to jail because of this. No, you could all just sue You could all just sue me for legal malpractice. <laughs> oh, hey, everybody in the chat, let's do it. Let's all get nope, together. Nope, too late. I just said... I just, lost, dude. Nope, I just protected myself. You can't. Yes. Okay, now, Pritch, can I hire you to sue you? What was that? What was that? Can I hire you to sue yourself? That's a conflict of interest. <laughs> good point. Good point. I would have a very strong motivation to throw that case. There we go. Uh, all right. Then let's get into case four. The, the video game. <clears throat> it's been what? 15 years. About that. Yes. Fifteen years is a long time to wait. You can't imagine how much I've suffered. You suffered? And now, the perfect opportunity presents itself. At last, I shall have my revenge. What? Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. <laughs> That was good. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. What? No. It couldn't be. Hey, hey Nick. Do you know if there's any good waterfalls around here? Man, now Maya, don't go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> god damn it. Yeah, Just I was... Just stick to the public court systems you're used to. There we go. <laughs> Waterfalls? Dare I ask why? Duh, Nick. Isn't it obvious? I need a waterfall to stand under, preferably a freezing one. Oh, is that part of your spirit medium training? Of course, except I've been slacking off lately. I need to brave the elements and be forged anew under the rushing spring waters. Um, okay. I don't know about any falls per se, but Gord Lake is pretty close. Just dunk your head in the lake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, darn. Sorry, but them's the breaks. Couldn't you just take a cold shower or something? That's fucking excellent. <laughs> Good idea! So much for the rushing spring waters. Next in the news, a large unidentified animal was sighted at Gord Lake. The town is buzzing with excitement. Locals are calling it Gordy and a tip of the hat to Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. Though its namesake, Nessie, proved to be a hoax, Locals are confident that Gordy is the real deal. <sighs> oh, boring. Both unoriginal in their naming and dumb as shit in their gullibility. <laughs> <laughs> Can't they show real news for a change? Hashtag fake news. <laughs> Man, I hate Buzz, the BuzzFeed news channel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually Nick? surprised they don't have one now. I know, right? Nick? Huh? The water pressure's kind of low in that shower. You want more pressure, huh? Why don't you go down to the fire department and have them spray you with the hose? 
Good idea, Nick. What the fuck? <laughs> Apparently, ESP is no aid in detecting sarcasm. ESP is an extremely stupid person. Hey! <laughs> We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Strange occurrences continue at Gord Lake, but this time it's murder. <laughs> Gord Lake again? The body of a man was found in the lake early this morning. A suspect was apprehended. Forces inside the police department revealed that the suspect's name is Miles Edgeworth, age 24. Edgeworth was an up-and-coming prosecution attorney, known for his skill and connections. He was a guaranteed and uh, he was guaranteed a long and rewarding career. Has he thrown it all away? Uh, Edgeworth, what's going on? Not ye. <laughs> Edgeworth would never do something like Nick. Yipes, yeah, Maya. Fireman yelled at me when I called in. What the fuck, Maya? <laughs> <laughs> We've got bigger things to worry about than that, Maya! They oh, arrested Maya. Edgeworth! <laughs> what? You mean the prosecutor? He's not a prosecutor, he's the prosecutor! For me, Phoenix That's Wright. It's a different guy named Miles Edgeworth that we know. <laughs> yeah, he's a suspect in a murder. You know, like what we always do in this game. What? <laughs> when, where, whom, why, how? I don't know. Let's go find out, Nick. <laughs> really quick, we have to, we have to check. The window. Yep, yep, yep. We gotta see how uh, they're doing over there. Looks like it's cleaning day again in the hotel across the way. I hear they're planning a second branch outside the city. I can see the bellboy getting that, getting the angle of that screwdriver in the drawer just right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, wait. The chat is saying we gotta look at Charlie, the plant. Oh, yeah. Because we love Charlie. Mia's favorite plant. Its name is Charlie. Maya's gotten the knack of watering it lately. The, fu the, knack, the knack of water? It's you water a plant. She's, got, she's gotten the knack. Charlie's been perking up these days. Well, there we go. Hey, what, <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> go get him, Phoenix. You can do it. Uh, Tyler says, I'm going to order Chinese. Should I get chicken or pork fried rice? I think you should get a burger. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's take it take it from Maya. The true Japanese cuisine <laughs> is a hamburger. Uh, I guess we go to the deten detention center to check on Edgeworth? Or do we go to Gord, Gord Lake? I mean, I want to go to the detention center and see if Edgeworth is Joe just for his reaction. Exactly. <clears throat> no, Nick. We've all been in here one time or another, haven't we? <laughs> That's a fucking odd yeah. thing, but you're right. <laughs> I guess it comes with the territory. I'm not sure it's something we should mention to too many people. Well, what does it mean it comes with the territory? <laughs> Most defense attorneys are not accused of murder. <laughs> I don't know what he means by it comes with the territory. Pritch, have you have you never been accused of murder? <laughs> I have not. I'm not a defense. I'm not a defense attorney, mind you. But I've never been accused of murder. Have you been accused of a white collar crime before? Uh, no. <laughs> ah! <laughs> See ya. Hey, Edgeworth, <laughs> come back. Pure disdain. What are you doing here? Baka. <laughs> <laughs> Sundari Edward. Nick, Nick, I don't think he's in a very good mood. Well, he is in detention. Were you in a good mood when you were here? So, you've come to laugh at the fallen attorney. Then laugh. Laugh! Uh, really quick, Yoda. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> <laughs> Well, why aren't you laughing? 
just cut to Phoenix in the like hand behind the head <laughs> sprite. <laughs> Nick, should we be laughing? Nah, it's a trick. Laugh again and he'll get mad. Or burst into tears. Damn. <laughs> I'd love to see that. <laughs> Edgeworth. We don't have so much free time we can spend it coming down here to laugh at you. What the fuck, Phoenix? If we had more free time, we would come and we laugh would at definitely you. Do that. I'd be here all day long laughing at you, Edgeworth. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Damn. Actually, he's right. I have no fucking cases. I'm a fucking fraud of a no lawyer. Life. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> I hoped you wouldn't come. I didn't want you to see me. Not like this. Oh, I will say, I anticipated him saying not like this. <laughs> I didn't know he was going to say that. I started saying it before I even That's read That's really the funny. Line. That's really funny. <laughs> hey, uh, I didn't want to see you either. Believe me. My friend doesn't like you. <laughs> I don't like you either. <laughs> Edgeworth, tell me what happened. Why should I? What are you going to do about it? Duh! We're going to help you, that's what. Help me? You? Don't be ridiculous. Sorry? You're a novice. You've only been in three trials. Yeah, but remind you, I beat your ass in all fucking... Well, two of them. Two of them, right? Two of them. <laughs> <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> you, you pizza? You yep. hamburger? <laughs> hey! Sure, you got lucky in one or three. Okay, Edgeworth! Okay! <laughs> you're fucking lucky you're behind bars right now, you piece of shit. <laughs> Otherwise, I come through there and kick your ass. I come through Fine. there and kiss your. I kick your ass. The gloves are off. Let's trade blows. <laughs> but your luck's bound to run out someday. You need real skill, right? Experience. You're the same age as me. Or what the fuck. Or just do what I do and cheat. <laughs> Nick. Nothing you. Nick. Why am I always the one who has to get angry? I can't stay angry at him. Look at his face. It's so beautiful. I l l l l love him. <laughs> the murder took place at Gord Lake, correct? Yes. Late last night. The lake is a long way from your offices and the court. Why were you down there? I see no need to tell you. Mr. Edgeworth? You... you didn't really... Gordy. Huh? I went to see Gordy. Gordy? What's that? I'll... tell you later. I'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> Why won't Edgeworth talk to us? Talk to me. Uh, all right. Well, shit. I guess I can just show him my attorney's badge. Oh, he actually reacts to it. <laughs> oh, most people react to your attorney's badge. <laughs> it's a brilliant thing about this game. Your attorney's badge. Edgeworth. Let me defend you. Ha! Ha ha ha! Good one, right? But I'm not that hard up. Not yet. I'll make you hard up. Hey. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Me? Trust a wet behind the ears lawyer with only three trials under his belt? Again, Never. a wet behind the ears lawyer who fucking beats you twice, you son of a bitch. <laughs> what? My case is near hopeless, right? Every defense attorney I've talked to has turned me down. 
then turn to me. What? So I can also turn you down. (laughs) (laughs) Simply put, they were afraid they'd lose. It occurred to me that it might be my fault that they lack confidence. After all, I did get every single one of their clients declared guilty. I don't believe it. Regardless, I don't want you involved in this. You, in particular, I cannot ask to do this. God damn it. Uh, <clears throat> really quick, catching up with the chat. Uh, trying, I might be a wet behind the ears lawyer, but I'll get you wet behind somewhere else. <laughs> That's fucking yeah, good. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, Pridge, is this even a thing? Like, would a defense attorney turn down a case they think is going to end in a loss? I mean, if you're, if, I mean obviously, if you're a public defender, you can't do that. But if you're a private defense attorney, yeah, mm. you, you don't have to take any case. Fair. Is is the threat of losing a case a, a reason why someone might turn down a case? Like a private defense attorney? Or is it like, oh, I'm getting money anyway, so it doesn't matter. Or is like reputation very yeah, big among reputation definitely attorney? matters. If there was like, I suppose, a very high profile defense attorney would probably not want to take a hopeless case, mm. if, even if it paid somewhat well. Um, but I mean, it, it, it depends on the defense attorney. Some might value the money more than the reputation. Some might value the reputation more than the money. Gotcha. Yeah. And that's to each their own. Yes. Yeah. Narwax points out the only person who has ever beaten me. No, you can't possibly defend me in court. Yeah, what the <laughs> fuck, Edgeworth? <laughs> this is where it happened. Yeah. Gord Lake is in the middle of this park. I can see some police walking around in there. Oh, shit. That I, was I, can, I can see some police walking around in there. Thank you. But can you see why kids love the taste of Cinnamon Toast Crunch? <laughs> <laughs> It's because it's a blast of cinnamon in every bite, Nick. <laughs> They're questioning people, probably. Hey, isn't that Detective Gumshoe over there? Of course it is. Well, pal! There's enough of us here. Anyone found anything? Sorry, sir. Nothing. Idiot! The trial's tomorrow! We need clues on the double. But sir, there weren't any clues. That's why we arrested that attorney, Mr. Edgeworth. What? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. have no evidence whatsoever, so we arrested we just the picked first guy off the street. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't find any clues, so we arrested the first person we found. We're good police. <sighs> Yep, sounds like it. It's clear, sir. He's the one that- Shut up! You just said you had no clues. Just you try saying that again. I'll- uh, I'll make you sorry if you do. I mean, just get out of my face, pal. (laughs) Sir. Detective Gumshoe's kind of scary today. (laughs) Crutes. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Ooh! Ah! <laughs> Auga! Hey, you're that hairy guy. Hairy butts! This is like the third time we've met, man. <laughs> right. Phoenix, right. You saved my literal life last case. What the <laughs> fuck, dude? Will he ever learn my name? I saved your butt, so your hairy butt. <sighs> Just what are you doing here, pal? Investigating? Huh? Uh, well, yes, I suppose. Well, I'm here to help. Ask me anything you want. Bring it! Different than usual. I wonder what's up. Um, Mr. Edgeworth hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Huh? Oh, you don't say. Oh, boy. 
Detective Gumshoe, do you know what happened here? Huh? You don't know, pal? No. That's why I'm literally fucking uh, asking. Yeah, that's why I asked you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, Mr. Hen the Fluffy Pink Clouds Lawyer. Literally, what? why does everybody gotta fucking jump down my throat? I'm trying to do this case for Edgeworth. I beat him three times. I have a perfect record as a defense attorney. Fucking lay <laughs> off! I, I just don't like you. You just seem like a total fuck. Head in the... Huh? Never mind. I'll tell you, even though you didn't ask. It happened last night, about 15 minutes after midnight. There was a boat out on Gord Lake. In that boat were two men. One of those men shot the other with a pistol. And... the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth? The cop who arrived on the scene arrested him. How did he get there so fast? Well, there was a witness. When the report came in, we raced to the lake. A witness? Really quick, chat is... <laughs> First off, MC Square points out we have 40 viewers right now, which is, again, that is breaking the record we've ever had for this channel. That's amazing. Thank you all so much. This, What's up, everybody? It's amazing to see the support that this this series has gotten. Uh, it's so cool. <clears throat> Gumshoe's over here like, why aren't you a member of the Discord? <laughs> ah, come you on and be a member of the Discord. And while you're at it, why don't you like, comment, and subscribe? <laughs> God damn, I'm gonna use that now. <laughs> who who was this witness? Uh, sorry, pal. That's confidential. Even though I said ask me literally anything. <sighs> anyway, the witness saw everything, apparently. I'm sure they'll turn up at the trial tomorrow. Why is the witness confidential? Are they in witness protection? Yeah, like, what the f- <laughs> also, We have the apparent suspect arrested. Why are we Why are we protecting the witness's identity? Yeah. Are witnesses allowed? Like, if a witness is being questioned by the police, but then they're let go, can, a, can just anybody know who the witness is? Or is it they have to, like, keep it hush-hush? They could tell the world that they were questioned by the police about a crime. Oh, so they, they can just go out and tell it, people like, oh yeah, I saw a crime. I'm going to court tomorrow. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. No, there, there's no there's no vow of secrecy. You don't you don't know any confident you I mean, you probably don't know any confidential information because they're just asking what you saw. Mm, so you can go right. tell that same information that you saw to anyone you want. Interesting. Fair. Okay. Was there only that one witness? Yep. It was pretty cold out on the lake last night. And it was Christmas Eve, after all. Wait, so today is Christmas in the game? Yeah. See, did you not hear Merry Christmas at the beginning? Oh, I told no. Wasn't paying attention. Merry, Merry Krimpus. I mean, I made the, the Merry Christmas, you filthy animal joke, Oh, yeah, yeah, you did, you did, you did. Come on. The witness was here on Christmas. That must be a real loser to be alone on Christmas, am I right? Goddamn. <laughs> Still, we're being thorough. You never know when you're gonna turn up another witness. That's why we're here checking. That, that's why we're here today, checking things out. So far, we're coming up empty. Oh, it's Christmas today. <laughs> I'd forgotten. See, even my forgot. The only family I'd spend it with got murdered. <laughs> <laughs> In the place that I now work at every day. Maya, you what don't you, do work. What are you getting me for Christmas, Nick? Talk to Santa. <laughs> <laughs> it was very, hey. you'll shoot your very, eye out, kid. <laughs> a very smart aleck remark. That was good. Phoenix. You don't think Mr. Edgeworth is a murderer? Absolutely not. It's impossible. I don't care if there's a witness either. I don't believe a lick of it. Right. Who 
cares what the witness says? Or if they saw exactly what happened? Mm -hmm. Or if they have eyewitness proof? Or if they took a photograph? I care! That's my Edgeworth! You really believe in him, don't you, Detective? Of course I do! But... The police are pretty sure he's the killer. He constantly berates me and threatens my pay during uh, evaluations. But I <laughs> but love I, the guy. But I love he's my bestest friend. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's even really taking this investigation that seriously. Oh no. After all the help Mr. Edgeworth has been to us. Hard to imagine that no one's standing up to take his side. Well, at least you are, Detective. At least you are. Oh. <clears throat> Is it true? No one will take Mr. Edgeworth's case? Mr. Edgeworth's case? Yeah. He's a bit of a celebrity. If you defended him and you lost, your reputation would be sure to suffer. What's more, the case against him is... Well, it's pretty solid. As far as I'm aware, you have we one have witness. We have one whole witness. It and was dark. As, as, your, as your police officer friend said, there are no clues. What the fuck? I, whatever. Okay. <laughs> one whole witness who saw something on a dark lake? I mean, how much more solid of a case are you going to get? One <laughs> you know, whole witness? This is open and shut. I don't know what we're doing here. <sighs> Jay's on in the chat says, Maya literally does nothing all the time and then becomes plot armor for two minutes and then goes back to being dead weight every single game. That's yep. really fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, I mean, from what I've gathered from this game so far, you're not wrong. <laughs> but dang it, but dang it if she isn't just the, just cute as a butt. You gotta love her. I suppose it would be if they have a witness and it was dark and it was on a lake and it was foggy at night. Phoenix, do you remember and, two cases ago when both when you proved two different witnesses to be complete and total liars? <laughs> just do that again. Just do that again. Hey, pal! Don't tell me you're going to turn your back on him too! Remember the Steel Samurai? <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth helped you get your client declared innocent. Uh, I know. He also tried to get me declared guilty for a murder I didn't do, so kind of bad. I feel like we're even in that regard. I went to Edgeworth. I, I tried. He really doesn't want us to represent him. Especially not us, he said. Especially not me. What? Well, that doesn't make any sense, pal. You should have heard him talking about you after the Steel Samurai case. He was like, oh, that Phoenix, right. He's got such strong arms. And <laughs> I bet he smells great. And, oh, <laughs> man, the way that his lips quiver when he says objection. God. I just can't get him out of my mind. <laughs> he kept saying, right, 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 over and over. It's really annoying. <laughs> I'm not sure that's a good sign. Shut up, Maya. It sounds great to me. Neither am I. <laughs> Just let me have my fantasy. <laughs> Why wouldn't he want your help? I don't get it. Detective Gumshoe, sir! What? Find something? Um, no, sir. Not yet. Then why the fuck are you bothering me? <laughs> I just wanted to know if you wanted to go out for hamburgers. <laughs> there was a call from the precinct. They want to hold an investigation briefing. Briefing? Right, I'm off. Oh. Sorry, pal. I guess you heard. I gotta go. Any last things you want to ask me before I head back? <laughs> the autopsy report. Okay. Yeah, I, mean... I want the updated autopsy report. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, Gumfuck. Do you have any information on the victim? Sorry. We don't even have a body. 
They haven't worked up the autopsy report yet. I'm still waiting for it myself. Actually... Say, if you get the time, drop by the precinct. You can talk more there, pal. You're not coming back, Detective? Uh, probably not, pal. So, what should we do if we have something to talk to you about? Ah, right. Here, I'll show you how to get to the precinct. Come down and see me anytime. Just shoot me a tweet. <laughs> <laughs> and we got directions to the police station. Yeah. Oh, hey, Detective Gumshoe. What? Um, we'd like to take a look around in the park. Can we walk around? No problem, pal. You got my permission. Because I'm the king of the park. <laughs> and I decree that you can now go into the park. <laughs> you know, Nick, I think there's something to be said for talking to people when they're busy. Yeah, they don't have time to think about not giving you information. I don't know if that's how that works. Like, it's almost like we're manipulating them. <laughs> right. Now let's get investigating. All right. Guard Lake, Public Beach. Work on my tan. <laughs> on Christmas. <laughs> That's a good point. You also, gotta get I, that Christmas tan. Oh, shit, they got samurai dogs. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> samurai dogs actually come back a lot, I think. <laughs> Wowzers. This is Gord Lake. Wowzers, brain. Yep. What are we gonna do tonight, bud? <laughs> I'm not sure it warrants a Wowzers, though, Maya. What the okay, okay, Wowzers, police. Wheel, 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 wheel. We heard. We heard. use of Wowzers. This is a uh, 509. This is an unauthorized use of Wowzers. <laughs> hmm, probably not. But hey, look at that snack stand. Samurai dogs? I want a samurai dog. Please. Uh, Maya, can you get an actual job? <laughs> I bet they're great. With a name like Samurai Dog, how could they not be? This episode sponsored by Samurai Dog. <laughs> <clears throat> they're a cut above the rest. <laughs> they're a little behind the times, though. The kids are all into the pink princess now. Well, they can't call them pink dogs. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, like, you know? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> just ends the conversation right there. <laughs> nope. I sure don't. Mm -hmm. I, I just, just curious. There's nowhere else to move. For, there's nowhere else to move from here, right? There's uh -huh. not like, oh, like, um, further, there's not like a further into the park. Oh, you the know, there woods are and the okay. boat rental. Oh, Jesus. Damn it. All right, then. then. Let's start investigating here, then. <clears throat> first things first, is that a party hat on the table? Let's check it out. Huh. Oh shit, you. Huh. Someone left one of those poppers here. You know, <laughs> you sniff them and then your butthole God gets loose. damn it, Wes. I was like, <laughs> can we get through this without making a poppers reference? <laughs> Not at all, baby! <laughs> just, waiting for the, just, just waiting for the chat to fucking blow up. Someone left one of those poppers here. You know, you pull the string and and it, and goes, it goes pop. pop. Yeah, I, I oh, know yeah. the ones, Maya. It's my line again. <laughs> you see them a lot around New Year's. Hey, Nick, it might be a clue. Blues clues. <laughs> Let's take it. This seems like the most tenuous thing to be a clue, but it's also probably garbage. So sure, Maya. <laughs> Come on, you want to admit it. Admit it. You just want to pop it, right? Was it that obvious? I figured there was no gunshot. Someone pulled a popper to simulate the sound of a gun going <laughs> off. We'll take it. I suppose it couldn't hurt. Huh? Where'd it go? I already put it in my pocket. What fucking pocket? What are you wearing that has a pocket? I'll never tell. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Dave says Edgeworth, Phoenix and Edgeworth might need those poppers later. <laughs> Listen, y'all, I re- <laughs> we regret the popper joke, all right? Or at least I do. I don't regret it at all, chat. Place is well maintained. I don't know if there's anything else here. All right, to, to the lake, to the woods. Uh, <laughs> some people in the chat are like, I don't know what a popper is. And I'm like, we'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a pop it was, you just say poppers anyways <clears throat> I like it here Nick look someone's camping they've got guts camping at the scene of a murder you got guts kid hey hey Nick if they were camping here last night they might know something about the murder it's actually a good point Good call, Maya. Let's go talk to him. Because uh, we're damn certain the police didn't. Are they, are they fucking here? <laughs> uh, so, no. Yeah, I think you have to examine the, the, no. the van. No. Let's start examining everything. Uh, oh, we'll start over here. We're here. <laughs> MC Squares is, is our popper is like another name for a plug. No, it's different. <laughs> Well, listen, <laughs> just Google it. I, I'm not we're, trying we're, to get demonetized. No, no, no. Make, make, make Papa Zach tell you what poppers are. No, nope, definitely not. Never calling me that again. <laughs> this camera has a mic and some sort of attachment. It must take pictures when triggered by a noise. Sounds really convenient that this was placed here on a lake where a gunshot murder just happened. I wow. wonder if it will be important. <laughs> Wow, cool. Let's try it out. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nick. That was pretty good. I'm not saying it loud enough. Hey, I'm Nick. Huh. <laughs> Will you stop that? <laughs> Maybe it's broken. D don't kick it. Maybe it isn't set to respond to voices. <laughs> That's a very funny interaction. Well, what then? I know. The party poppers? Yeah, it responded. Yeah, here we go. Yo! Yeah! Hey, you! Get your hands off of that! Yeet. What in the Sam Hill? Look at what you done now! There goes a whole roll of film! Uh, what? Huh? Sorry is nice, but don't pay my bills! Y'all know how much a roll of film like that cost? I'll pay you back. What were y'all thinking, setting off a party popper in a place like this? Uh, well... What? Don't try to play stupid with me just because you think I'm some country bumpkin. Yeah, I know how y'all yanks think. Y'all yanks I say, think. I say, those southern folks talk with that exaggerated drawl. Why, they must be dumb. What accents did you s slide between there, ma'am? <laughs> oh, that was me being a southern person doing a British No, I, I got it. It was good. It was good. Well, let me tell you, just because I might be dumb, don't mean we all are. <laughs> Wait, what? That's very good. That's very good. And who are you now? Her chaperone? Unfortunately. Yeah, uh, no, rather. Uh... <laughs> just figure out what y'all are going to say and say it for, <laughs> say it for bejesus sake. <laughs> God, I'd rather sit through one of Papa's draws and listen to y'all stutter all day. Oh boy. I guess we should pay her for the film. Watch it. Yes, ma'am. On second thought, I'll pay later. What the fuck? I'll gladly pay you tomorrow for, for a, a hamburger a today. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Yeah, again, the, the chat is all commenting on this, but I love that. 
you know, for whatever reason, the uh, the translation team was like, let's make her southern. <laughs> yep. Because when I when I look at this person, I think, yeah, she's from the south. I think here's here's a here's a, I guess potentially a factoid that I assume is... she's from like Kansai or something, right? Yeah, I, more than likely in the original Japanese, she was given a, a dialect or mm -hmm. like a way of a way of speaking that was very like a la kind of the 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 Western translations of the Dragon Quest games. If you've ever played any of those, yeah, yeah, where they're very like, "Oi, bruv, what are you doing here?" Mm -hmm. uh, I think in the original Japanese, they gave her like a backwards okay. Japanese dialect. Country, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. David says she likely has a Kansai accent in the Japanese version that's usually interpreted as yeah. southern in dubs. Yes. I, uh, <clears throat> this is my badge. Huh? Aren't badges supposed to be all shiny and impressive? You a cop or something? You legally have to tell me if, if you're a cop. <laughs> um, I'm a lawyer. What? Y'all ain't gonna try and pin one of them lawsuits on me over that film now. Because I'll have y'all know I'm a fighter and I wrestled meaner looking things than you. No, that's not it at all. We're here investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. Murder? Sounds cool. A, a person has died. Didn't y'all say that in the first place? Go ahead, ask me anything you like. Finally. I will say, a lot of Sprite makes her look like her eyes are so incredibly Yeah, far. Yeah, I just noticed that too. This uh, this she, Sprite in particular is very Yeah, she, is, she, is looking like, she looks like she's looking like that direction a little bit. Well, she she's, got, she's got a fish head. Yeah, yeah. She, she doesn't need a fish eye lens better. to see. <laughs> you two, y'all can come out of hiding now. I won't bite. Hard. <laughs> come to think of it, where did Maya get to? Sorry. I was feeling a little overwhelmed. The culture gap and all. <laughs> Never you mind, honey. I can talk yank for you if you want. <clears throat> if it pleases you. <laughs> Thanks. I think I'll be okay. <laughs> Good lord. Great then. I'm Lotta. Lotta Hart. Y'all can call me Lotta. There we go. Do you get the joke, Bridge? Do you, do you, do you uh, get it? yeah. She, uh, she, she looks like Ray Liotta. <laughs> <laughs> That's really That's good. good. I'm here photographing meteor showers for a research project. Mighty pleased to meet you. That's awfully convenient that you have this very specific equipment. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. When was that murder, anyway? I ain't seen much television lately. It happened late in the night on Christmas Eve. That's so. Uh, Christmas Eve. A man on a boat was shot. Did you see anything? Well, let me see. A boat, you say? I reckon I might have seen one. Not sure, though. <laughs> Y'all gotta remember, I've been watching this here lake for a good three days now. I've seen enough boats to choke a mule. Kinda hard to remember which I've seen when. How many boats does it take to choke a mule? <laughs> and how do boats choke a mule? I mean, how big is the mule? That's the question. <laughs> That's the first question we gotta establish. I think the, the first question is, how does a boat choke a mule? <laughs> it lands on its throat. <laughs> In that case, probably just one boat. <laughs> well, how big are the boats? So, what is it you do, Lada? Huh? Me? <laughs> Y'all don't really want to know that, do you? Actually, I'm a research student at Country U, right in the heart of the heartland. Again, I cannot get over that this this college is called Country U. It's like we, we just we, we just call it Kansas State here, but sure. <laughs> Where a hick can be a hick. <laughs> wow, neat. Nick, she's a research student at a university. 
country you. You don't have to repeat every fucking thing someone says, Maya. <laughs> so I hear. <laughs> so, when did you come up here? Hmm, let me see. I guess it was about three days ago. What are you photographing? D d didn't I tell y'all that already? Meteors. Yup, meteor showers. Falling Things that don't make noise. <laughs> yeah. Falling stars? You've never heard of the screaming meteors? <laughs> they fall through the sky and go, ah! <laughs> like, that, like that character from uh, Elder Scrolls Morrowind. <laughs> that's a deep cut. Jeez, old Pete. <laughs> but, like, that's one of the first things I remember about that game is walking down the road and just hearing, ah! ah, ah! Same. <laughs> Quite a camera you have there. Y'all better know it. It's German made. A genuine Solingen. Isn't that where they make knives? Um. So what's that device you have stuck to the camera? Huh? Device? What's that word mean? <laughs> we haven't we haven't gotten to yank vocab at oh, Country U. Sorry, I just skipped it. It was something about like, oh, it started moving on itself. Oh, that. That triggers the shutter whenever it detects certain sounds. It's programmed to pick up loud noises right now. A programmable camera? Neat. Hooray. Uh, we can show present the camera. camera yeah, which doesn't really make sense to me. Like, why not just add another dialogue option? Yeah, that, that would make more sense, but... Lotta. Yeah? So, your camera, it triggers on loud explosion noises? Yep. Yeah. Actually, the victim in the case we're researching, he was shot with a pistol. A pistol? Right. Now, wouldn't a gunshot make a similar noise to our party popper? In fact, it was the same sound effect exactly in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it would. Your camera didn't get a picture of the murder, did it? Your camera isn't perhaps the murderer, is it? <laughs> <laughs> You're not the witness, are you? <laughs> Metal Gear. <laughs> there Damn we it. go. Metal Gear. Hey! Color pretty bright. <laughs> Jay's on in the chat says any popper is a party popper with enough alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Huh? See what you're saying. I tell you what, I'll have a look see at my film. It would have been a photo taken late last night. I checked him once. Don't remember if there was anything on him though. But what if I got something? I could be a witness to a genuine murder. Yeah! The yeehaw was a bit <laughs> like, hey. Someone died, Lotta. No yeehawing, that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go check that film. Y'all come back now, you hear? Again, they're like, hey, did you notice that this character is from the South? <laughs> she went inside her. <laughs> I was supposed to... She went inside her for her Chevy Silverado. <laughs> like a rock. <laughs> This, this episode of Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer sponsored by Chevy. By Chevy. <laughs> with all new four-wheel drive, Nick. That's an impressive, <laughs> that's an impressive vehicle. Yeah, I've heard if you buy now, there's zero APR for the first 16 months. <laughs> wow, what a deal. <laughs> God damn it. Let's head to our local Chevy dealer today. <laughs> Miles could wait. Chevy, when the real objection is bad driving. <laughs> uh, Chrono Wizard says, Judge, I'm trying to collect evidence, but I'm dummy thick. And the pop from my party popper keeps alerting the cameras. Shit. <clears throat> let, me, let me do that. I didn't realize you were doing a, a Metal Gear thing. Judge, I'm trying to collect evidence, but I'm dummy thick. And the pop from my party poppers keeps alerting the cameras. <laughs> Colonel. Snake. Snake. That's a party popper. <laughs> Watch out for its bang noise. It'll <laughs> alert nearby enemies. Nick, 
What is this place? Well, there's a giant fucking sign that says boat rentals behind you. A All boat? I see is T rentals. Hey, this is where you can <laughs> you can rent clones of T pain. Fuck, that was a shit joke. God damn it. <laughs> I think Mr. T would have been the better. Yeah, uh, I don't know why I went with T Pain on that one. I'm not. I'm not even a big T Pain fan. Fool who mistakes me for T Pain? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We saved that joke with a better joke. There you go. <clears throat> a boat rental shop closed for Christmas. It seems. I guess a murder taking place on one of the boats wouldn't be good for business either. Oh, that's the bellboy. <laughs> boat. I've never been on one of these boats. Really? Well, how about we go on one when the trial is finished? Hey, good idea. You bet. Uh, <laughs> Chris's fully dubbed playthrough of Metal Gear done by us, but we never addressed that we changed the audio. That would be kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> the witness on the stand is Psycho Mantis. <laughs> Shit. What would he say? I hear you like party poppers. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> you just have to put the controller in, in port two, and all of a sudden his case just falls apart. <laughs> <laughs> he has to tell the truth. What? My objection button isn't working. <laughs> <laughs> Having trouble objectioning, Phoenix? God damn it. Just objecting. <laughs> I like objectioning. <laughs> God damn it. I guess we go talk to, to Gumfuck. Yeah. It's either, it's either Gumfuck or back to Miles. Uh, criminal affairs. It might, be, it might be Gumfuck and then talk to see if Lada's done. Mm. Yeah, that too. That's true. That too. The hell? I guess Detective Gumshoe is still in that meeting. Hey! I'm not still in that meeting. <laughs> Thanks for coming down, pal! Detective Gumshoe! We just finished the meeting. For better or for worse. I get the feeling we're in for some bad news. You want the bad news, or you want the really bad news? <laughs> Give it to me, Detective. Do you know anything about the victim yet? No, no. Still can't ID him. I mean, what? He got shot and was in the water for one night. Like, what the fuck happened to this body? Has Mr. Edgeworth said anything? Not a word. So, how did the meeting go? I can't tell you, pal. You're a lawyer. Again, it feels like this that is exactly why you should tell me. That means if I tell you my secrets, you'll suck out my brains. <laughs> That's how lawyers work. True. You know, I don't know what to believe anymore. <laughs> sure, Mr. Edgeworth's human like you or me. <laughs> Still, I get the feeling that if he'd done something wrong, he wouldn't go hiding it. That's just the kind of guy I think he is. Why can't anyone else see that? So, they think that Mr. Edgeworth did it? Well, the trial's starting tomorrow, as scheduled. I see. Um, hey, in the end, you did tell us about the meeting. Don't go telling anyone. Don't go telling anyone else, pal. Yes, sir. And do me a favor. Stand by, Mr. Edgeworth. I'll stand by my client. <laughs> <laughs> he needs help, and you're the only ones who can help him. I'm sure he's got some reason why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. What are you crying? Jeez. You big baby. What's wrong with you, you big puss? <laughs> <laughs> Detective Gumshoe? How come you trust Mr. Edgeworth so much? Well, I think that'd be obvious. <laughs> we got a strong working relationship, us two. Uh, what, what, what kind of working relationship? We trust each other, 
And that's how it works. Okay, Gumshoe, I got my eye on you. A working relationship? <laughs> this game really writes it. See, Mr. Edgeworth always gets his defendants declared guilty every time. Yeah, his methods might be a little extreme at times. Illegal, some might say. Some we say. <laughs> but there's a reason. He trusts our investigation, see? He trusts us to get the right man. Well, it's that's not... his first problem. You guys kind of suck. <laughs> yeah, he literally, he literally berates Gumshoe all the time, being like, you get the wrong information, you're doing a bad job, you suck, I'm getting you demoted. It's like this autopsy report's outdated, gum fuck. I need an updated one. But then he's like, "Well, if you if you bring somebody if if you bring someone convicted to me, I gotta fucking they're they're going down no matter what I have to do." <clears throat> Maybe Edgeworth just secretly doesn't want Gumshoe to look like an idiot, so he always gets gum the person Gumshoe finds declared guilty. Because <laughs> he's like, ah, "Damn it, not again!" Fine. He's guilty too, Gumshoe. He is a lovely. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I work extra hard, pal. We gotta earn that trust he places in us. I see. Mr. Edgeworth is a man you can trust. And you have my word on that. I was wondering, did you ever get that autopsy report? That... I made a copy for you. Nope. <laughs> we can't find the victim, but we have the autopsy report. Yeah. Thank you. Nick? Huh? Can you show me that photo of the victim? <laughs> Wait, when, when did we have... Oh, I'm sorry, the autopsy report, yeah. But they don't, they don't know who this is, they just have an autopsy report. Wow. It's Ozzy Osbourne without his glasses. <laughs> Uh, is this someone you know? I... I don't know. I just have this feeling that I met him somewhere a long time ago. Alright. And, we and welcome to every Phoenix Wright case. Where Maya is somehow related to somebody who... <laughs> is... Everything. Yeah. <laughs> Sometime on the 24th or 25th, one bullet shot to the heart. Shot to the heart! Yes! In your tomb, darling, you give Edgeworth a bad name. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh, now I kind of want to go back to the detention center. Yeah, maybe we can check on Edgeworth. If not, we know to go back to Lada. Uh, presents. Edgeworth, this is really hard for me to. <laughs> this is really hard for me oh, to ask. <laughs> It's, it's confession time. But do you have to wear that neck thing everywhere you go? <laughs> Even when you're in jail? It, it just looks uncomfortable, right? I mean, cravats like, are gotta very... It's got to be uncomfortable, right? Cravats are so 18th century. <laughs> but you didn't do it, right? Right? Think what you will. I have only one request. Huh? Stay out of this case. Why? But Nick is trying to help you. I know. I know that. But I don't want your help, okay? Why not? Look, just go away and leave me alone. Nick? Mr. Edgeworth did it, did Maya! It? Let's go investigate elsewhere. But Nick... Don't you dare say those words. Uh... Look, can I, if I, look I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna accuse your sister of anything, so you don't accuse my boyfriend of anything. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to hear you say Edgeworth and did it unless it involves me. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Showing him the, the the autopsy report. Somebody says, Edgeworth, do you want to update this for me, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> what if he's actually pulled out that idiot gumshoe? I have the updated <laughs> autopsy report. Hey, Edgeworth, this is looking a little outdated. <laughs> Got anything to say about that? Sweat. 
why don't you want you want to come back to my place and update and chill? <laughs> uh, update the autopsy report and chill. Hey y'all, Mata. Wait up, sick. We got bingo. <laughs> we got a bingo. How you bingo? say? That's a bingo. <laughs> Oh, that's a bingo. How fun. <laughs> I love that bit. That's, is that how you say it? that's a bingo? You just say bingo. You just say oh, bingo. bingo. How fun. <laughs> I love it. It's that's God, that movie's so good, and he literally makes that movie. <laughs> My automatic camera took two pictures last night. Hey! This is them. Take a look. Wait, wait, it only took two? Your fucking camera took like 30 billion before. <laughs> yeah, we set a popper <laughs> off next to it took 34. Oh, wow, that's really, really damning evidence for Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> One can only assume this is pretty much what the witness also saw. Wait. See, see, he's shooting him with that pistol. It looks like that, yes. But you can't really tell who that is shooting. Yeah, well, there was enough fog out there last night to strangle a bullfrog. How much? All right, all right, Damn. Sandy Cheeks. Yeah. Damn your southernisms. <laughs> <laughs> but How much fog does it take to choke and to strangle anything? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know. <laughs> Chrono Wizard, in regards to the photo, was like, or he's just threatening him with a mozzarella stick. <laughs> so I love the idea of just someone on a boat wagging a mozzarella stick. I'm going to give you this mozzarella stick. No, I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> I'm doing Whole30. I can't have fried foods. It'll mess up my whole diet. <laughs> Seeing these photos reminded me of something. What? I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness. Now, Lada, <laughs> how the fuck what? do you forget that? <laughs> this was literally last night. Are you serious? Of course. How do you forget? Never mind. Y'all reckon I should tell the cop? Yeah, I fucking reckon so. I reckon so. What's that? Now don't y'all go trying to mock my accent. I'm not mocking your accent. I'm mocking your fucking stupidity. Yeah, that's I'm way a different. Lady. <laughs> hey, so I'm off to talk to the cops. Y'all can have this photo. Later. Wait. Lotta! What? Can't y'all see I'm kind of busy? T tell us what you saw, too, please. Nice try, honey. But I wasn't born yesterday. I was born two days ago. I'm a witness, <laughs> and that means I'm on the side of justice. And that means the cop. Okay. Insert modern commentary on policing here. Yeah, yeah. well, <laughs> also just like the defense attorney is the bad guy in this case. Is oh, what yeah, this the statement says. In this universe, the defense attorneys are the bad guys. Right, right. They were all, I mean, I'm also part of the criminal justice system, so I too am on the side of justice. Right, so right. is the judge, so is Edgeworth when he's a prosecutor. Chris says, does exactly. Lana have head trauma? I feel like she needs a hospital, not a court case. <laughs> that's actually, that's actually like a big rag on her head and it's bleeding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a huge gauze thing. She has just yeah. a traumatic head injury. <laughs> Slushy says blue, boot liquor Lotta. Yeah, Jeezel Pete's. She, was, fucking... she actually didn't have the southern dialect until very recently. After she <laughs> until her the head. traumatic brain injury. If you if you yeah. if you look on the back of her Chevy, which again uh, Chevy trucks great, look them check them out. She actually has a uh, thin blue line sticker bumper sticker back there. Oh no! <laughs> now we've done it. We, we're also gonna have to cancel Lada. I'm, I'm afraid. Yeah, Lada, you're canceled, honey. 
Uh, Lucio Lancer points out, yeah, for some reason, uh, Lana's eyes have always looked off to me. Yes. <laughs> She's got big old fish eyes. In her yeah. straight on sprite, it is yeah, very bad. Straight on sprite, she is looking that way. Uh, also, Chrono asks, Pridge, do you agree with having Lana go to the cops? Like, legally, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you saw a murder, you you should report it. Yeah, because okay. again, in, in, in an actual situation, we both have a, both the prosecutor and the defense would have a chance to depose her prior to the case. And, and, you know, in the effort of fairness, one side can't, you know, like, hog a witness and not give it to the other side. So, yeah, she, 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 she should go to the cop and then both sides would get a chance to question her hmm. before the trial, even. Uh... Also, would if if you choose if if you see something and choose to not report it, that that's not illegal, right? I mean, under as long as you don't duty, get caught, you're not under a duty to report. I don't think, unless I mean, just a, as a random passerby, you're not under a duty to hmm. report. Interesting. There we go. I'd sooner eat the south side of a northbound skunk. Tell you <laughs> what the. Fuck is that? That's that's hey, that's pretty good. That, I like that. I mean, I get that one at least. But they, they're making some of these up, right? That's not a real thing. Lada, don't let it get your skivvies in a bunch. Friends today, enemies tomorrow. What the fuck, Lada? I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> or was that the other way around? No matter. I'm gone. You'll be gone when I fucking break your goddamn neck, you piece of shit. Flash the tires on our SUV. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe they'll let me do some testifying. Hot darn. Lada, if you get on that stand, I'm going to make you look like the biggest redneck idiot that's ever been in court. <laughs> she left. Well, that's one more witness. What do we do now, Nick? Well, if she saw something, there's not much we can do about it. The question is, what exactly did she see? Can't she be great, did. because she fucking didn't remember it until... God damn it, I guess we'll find out in the trial tomorrow. Cool, really blurry lake photo. Great, great, great. <laughs> really blurry lake photos. Oh, wait, I think now go back to the the stand, or the, the samurai dogs. Is it, is it is it time? I mean, we have to go. We have to go that direction anyway. So it is time. Oh yeah. Looks like the police have given up their questioning. Hey! <laughs> ah! Nick, I think Santa's mad at you. Long time no see, Nick. Nick, you know Santa? Wow, Nick and Saint Nick. Hey, I see the connection. I'm oh, sure. Dick. I'm sure that the translation crew was like, "Oh, this is a fucking banger joke, right?" Like, we're we're so smart. God we're, damn we're, it, Maya. We're galaxy brains right here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, dude. It's me, Santa Claus. Larry. You were Santa the whole time? What are you doing here? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I'm working my day job. As Santa Claus. Also, it fucking sucks that he still has to work as Santa on fucking Christmas Day. I mean, look, his girlfriend's dead, so who else is he going to spend time with? <laughs> True. You'll learn very quickly a fun fact about Larry. I sell samurai dogs. Want one? You gotta get money for dates, you know? My girl, Keonse, deserves the best. Keonse? What? I'm trying to think what- so this would have been- Was Beyonce big in 2001? Was she already big at that point? Was that what they were going for here? I, if she was, I think she was part of Destiny's Child. Yeah, it would have been yeah, Destiny's Child. Yeah, that would have been during her Destiny chi Destiny's Child. Which, I mean, phase, obviously, which, I mean, Beyonce was the most popular member of that group. For sure, even, for sure. From its inception. Uh, Matt says, Phoenix is pulling all the single ladies. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> yeah. All the single lawyers. All the single lawyers. Uh, 
Alright. <clears throat> Keonse? Not another model, I hope. Oh, Keonse is a fine, fine woman, Nick. It was her idea that I wear this costume. She was all, you go, girlfriend, you know? She bought this costume for me. She has a weird thing for Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's great, Larry. Wow, a Santa costume. She must be really nice. Whoa, cute. God fucking damn it, Larry. Nick, who's she? She's not your... Not my... what? No, she's not. Partner, Maya Faye. A lack. A... You're my lackey. Don't oversell yeah. yourself. <laughs> I'm, uh, the Onye-chan. <laughs> oh, no, I hate that. I hate that, too. <laughs> really hate that. Onye-chan? <laughs> wow, Nick. Must be tough. Working <laughs> nine to five, having to take care of a little sister. The whole chat is is very offended by your uh, Onechan <laughs> joke. <laughs> no, I I'm not Nick's sister. I'm my older sister's little sister. A oh, great fucking description. No Maya. shit. Huh? Sounds great. <laughs> What's this fucking squinting sprite of Blair? No, no, it's really creeping me out. <laughs> It's very uh, happy mask salesman from uh, Majora's Mask. Yeah, actually, he looks very happy mask salesman yeah. right now. Don't worry, Maya. He's not listening. Don't worry, Maya. He's stupid as hell. <laughs> hey, Larry. There was a murder here last night. You work here. <laughs> Have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. I know. Last night was Christmas Eve. He was with Keonse, obviously. He he was out delivering presents to all the good little boys and girls. <laughs> he wouldn't have been standing out here in the cold like a loser. Ugh. I think what you just said caught him off guard, Maya. Yes. Keonse's not in town right now. She's she's in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> She's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. A model. I knew it. Well... For that she's really close to. <laughs> well, anyway, there was a murder here on the lake. The trial's tomorrow. Huh. Neat. <laughs> Person is dead. The defendant is Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. Um, Nick? Why would Larry know Edgeworth? Whoa, Nick! You don't mean that, Miles Edgeworth? Old Edgy? <laughs> yeah, he's a murder suspect. Whoa, murder? Huh? You know Mr. Edgeworth? Yeah, of course. Edgy was in the same class as us in grade school. What? Uh... We'll talk about shitty samurai dogs. Um, tell me about the dogs. Okay, well, first we've got golden retrievers, and then we've got... Uh, huh? Oh, you mean the samurai dogs. Why are they samurai dogs? I, I mean, they kind of look gourd-shaped. <laughs> oh, well, originally they were gourd dogs. You know, like, guard dogs. What? Uh, it's the fucking Gord Lake! <laughs> you don't have to make it! Ouch. Samurai thing was Keonse's idea. Yo, she's my woman, you know. Wow, you are, I hate you, Larry. Uh, you are not overcompensating. Not, you're not making it easy to like you, Larry. She was all, change the name and you go, girlfriend! Man, I really hope Larry Butts doesn't show up in every Phoenix Wright game. Uh-oh. <laughs> She made that banner. Man, the kids can't get enough of those samurai dogs. They're cut above the rest. God damn it. You know, Larry, kind of wish I had let you get sent to jail for murder. <laughs> um, 
something about that just seems wrong. Oh, and guess what? We're getting a ton of customers here at the lake. What with the big news? That there was a fucking murder? No, Gordy. Oh, yeah, I'm an idiot. The big news? Yeah, there was a murder. <laughs> I mean, it worked yeah. for the hotel. Yeah, Gordy. Gordy? Yes. So, Mr. Edgeworth was your classmate, Larry? Yeah, Nick, Kim, and I used to hang out all the time. Wow, I never knew. Don't get me wrong, he's always been kind of a stick in the mud. Studying all the time, trying to be like father. Who has daddy issues, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a loser. Like his father? But does he want to be called daddy? <laughs> yeah, so that better than me. <laughs> Edgy's pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Wow. Wait. You said defense lawyer. Yeah. Wait a second. But Mr. Edgeworth is a prosecuting attorney. Uh, like I said, daddy issues. <laughs> what? Edgy's got a proboscis on his knee? What? <laughs> That joke was so bad. Translation team, it's the best you could do with that. Yeah. Oh no, he's a prosecuting attorney. Like, geez, I hope they fired yeah, the person. Yeah, I guess attorney, I guess. Okay. Yeah, that was fucking bad. That's like the total opposite of a proboscis on his knee. <laughs> huh, go figure. I fucking hate you. You always used to talk about defending the weak who were unable to defend themselves. Man, he used to go on and on about man's duty to society and all that. What a bore. I wonder what changed his mind, though. Do you know, Nick? It was the incident. The incident. Nick? Um, what's Gordy? <laughs> So on that extremely dark note... <laughs> huh? You mean you don't know? It's here, in my pants. Jesus. <laughs> it's here in this very lake. A giant mysterious monster. Gordy! <laughs> uh, monster? Yeah. Check it out. This is an article from yesterday's newspaper. There's a photo. This is back in like 2000, so we still read newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's really real. A newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> I've only heard legends of these before. Look at this generic ass couple standing there. We didn't even want to fucking draw their faces. Nick! A monster! A real monster! Um, yeah. It's probably just a log or something, right? Hey, there's a quote here from the person who took the photo. Hmm? What's this? I set the camera to automatic and when we got into the frame, I heard a loud bang, like an explosion. Followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. And for some reason, we thought it was a monster and not some other, uh, like, very explainable thing. I wish I could have seen it. <clears throat> Why would there be a sound like an explosion? Larry, can I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem. That'll be a one million dollars. One million? One million dollars. Yeah. How about you? Sure. Not like I can read or anything. Grow up, Larry. <laughs> Jesus. This is pretty fucking savage. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Lucia says, Maya, you talk to fucking ghosts. <laughs> uh, where the fuck do we go now? 
let's go back here. Oh, that's right. That's true. We need the, we need the updated autopsy report. <laughs> true. Not a gumshoe in sight. <clears throat> if you're looking for Detective Gumshoe, he's in the questioning room. I like this, like, prepubescent lawyer you've got here. Uh, <laughs> or please. Apparently, an important witness turned up. He'll be in there a while. A lot of heart. Has to be. Uh-oh. Okay. <clears throat> what is it? Oh. Nothing. Just something's been bothering me. Could you show me that autopsy report once more? I need to make sure it's properly updated. <laughs> hey! I remember now! What is with people suddenly remembering key information? <laughs> <laughs> this guy! This is a lawyer that was at the, that office Mia worked at. I met him once when I went there to hang out with Sis. That office? Wait, you mean Grossberg's oh, office? Boy. Right, that guy. That was the that last- That big sweaty guy. That was the last name I expected to come up. Maybe I should go talk to him for old time's sake. <laughs> well. So the Grossberg gross. Law Office. Oh, no. Damn the it. Still gone. I was so excited to see what they were going to put up on the wall instead. <clears throat> ah, that old familiar clearing of the throat. Aha! Your me is something, are you not? I was her understudy, yes. Phoenix Wright. Is that what do they say understudy in, in lawyer terms? No. Yeah, what the fuck? No, we're her <laughs> employee. Yeah. <laughs> uh I guess if you wanted, to, I guess if you, if you you know, mentee, maybe if yeah. you know, if he thought of her as a mentor, you could say I was her mentee. But no, understudies will act. Maybe that proves that this is all fucking kangaroo court drama <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> this is all a big stage production. Chris in the chat says, "Just a gigantic ass on the wall," <laughs> <laughs> and I'm pissed because now. Now I'm I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna Photoshop in a picture of Chun Li's ass from Fortnite on this fucking wall. You like my big ass picture? <laughs> I picked it out myself. <sighs> I'm a big simp for Chun Li. <laughs> Aha! And you, your me is uh, something too, are you not? Her little sister, yeah. I'm, I'm her flesh and blood, yes. You've grown! You've come to look a lot like your sister, you know. And I can look even more like her. Do you want to see? <laughs> it takes me back. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> Mr. Grossberg, sir? Hmm. Ah, yes. I beg your pardon. Of course, you came in... What is it then? <laughs> Sorry. Something matter? Uh, I'm just catching up with the chat. To be fair, we've all been simping for Chun Li since at least Third Strike. Yes, that's true. <clears throat> there was a murder last night. I love how that painting is still an option. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> murder? You haven't heard? I've just got up, you see. It's four in the afternoon. What the? F <laughs> kind of a bender. Duty sleep. <laughs> I've I've been up late playing Fortnite. <laughs> I just got the new Chun Li skin, and I'm on a fucking tear. <laughs> I'm gonna start streaming with Ninja. You know what they say, skins get more wins. <laughs> Wanna see me do a Fortnite dance? <laughs> I've I been practicing floss. my floss. God fucking <laughs> damn it. Well, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Hey, allegedly shot someone with a pistol, Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, no, allegedly. Not doing a good job there. 
A pistol? That's a terrible gun. He needs something semi-automatic, like in Fortnite. <laughs> God damn it. I thought you were going to go for a uh, revolver ocelot joke, and now, you know, just d doubling down on the... Uh, Chris's Grossberg's son is backpack kid, which, fuck. <laughs> that's really funny. Damn it, that's very good. Ashworth? Uh, what? Who? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. This is terrible news indeed. I guess he hadn't heard anything. We gotta ask about the painting. Yeah. Mr. Which Grossberg. Means, by the way, this means that of all the people Edgeworth asked to defend him, Grossberg was not one of them. Correct. <laughs> you think I'd ask Grossberg? I hate all that All he does fuck. is play Fortnite nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Mr. Grossberg, what happened to that painting? Yes. I do not think it shall ever be coming back home to this office. I can't exactly claim it as stolen. I suppose it's my just dessert. Oh, bitter dessert. Show almost, him that autopsy Almost report. as bitter as I was the day that they took down Fortnite for the next update. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No, not the, uh, the autopsy report. Hmm. Strange. I feel as though I've seen this man somewhere before. Ah! Did you remember? He was a lawyer here in my office. That's Hammond. Robert Hammond. Jack Hammond? I was going to say that. Hammond. And you say this is the man Miles Edgeworth shot? Allegedly shot. <laughs> <laughs> that he 100% totally shot? <laughs> that he 360 no-scoped? <laughs> That's an impressive display, Miles. Edgeworth got that need, sweet chicken dinner. I need him on my Fortnite team. <laughs> Where are we dropping? <laughs> but how is he at building? <laughs> is Twisted Tower still a thing in that game? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Who is this Hammond guy, anyway? Oh, well, <laughs> I don't play Overwatch. <laughs> God damn it. Mr. Hammond, he was the defense attorney in that case. That case? Yes, that case. Are the we really DL bringing back the DL6 incident? incident? Oh, Pridge? Oh, oh, Pridge? The DL6... <laughs> DL6? Metal Gear? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Anytime somebody asks, like, a one-word question... <laughs> Why does that like sound so Andrews. familiar? Perhaps you remember. I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial for Mia's, Mia's murder. That was the incident where the police were so at a loss they used a spirit medium. Wait, you don't mean... Is that medium my mother? Yes, my dear. Spirit medium, Misty Fay, your mother, contacted the spirit of the victim. But the case was a loss. No conviction was made. The DL6 incident, yes. Happened 15 years ago. A very strange case indeed. You can tell because the music changed to sound more <laughs> mysterious. They never caught the criminal, right? Correct. Misty Fay used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. A testimony <laughs> led to charges being laid against one man. But Mr. Hammond won the case, and the suspect was declared innocent. Actually, w wasn't it kind of your fault? You were the one who leaked the info? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Fuck off. 
police blamed my mother, calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out then, right, Mr. Grossberg? Yeah, but he did also fuck her over. Uh, yes. Yes, quite. Thank you. Uh, no, please. Don't mention it. DL6. Never thought I'd hear that name again. Probably never hear it again after this case. <laughs> but wait. What does that case have to do... Have anything to do with Mr. Edgeworth? It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim in the DL6 incident was none other than his father, Gregory Edgeworth. Dun, dun, dun! W what? His father? If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. Wait. This is a photograph of my mother. <laughs> Again, thinking about it, it is kind of weird that Phoenix wouldn't have <coughs> some inkling of this. Because it was his like childhood best friend's dad that got murdered. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's a fair point. <laughs> Well, I think I think the logic is like Edgeworth just stopped showing up to school yeah. and he never found out why. Yeah. He left maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Or maybe he still knows, but Phoenix is just being stupid like yeah. he usually is. Yeah. Phoenix being <laughs> stupid, never. <laughs> What's this? I was hoping you'd gotten my message the first time. I kept you on red. Maybe Edgeworth. I didn't make it clear enough. Shh, shh. <laughs> now get off my property. <laughs> Edgeworth, what about your defense? No concern of yours. Guess he hasn't found anyone yet. I guess they told us to show this picture, so let's show this picture. Show the blue picture. Like, is this you? <laughs> <laughs> Were you holding uh, that mozzarella stick on the lake? <laughs> Edgeworth? For of hours since you last visited. Yet you've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit it. I'm impressed, right? You were always single-minded in your work, though. Hello, Pot. I'm Kettle. Yeah. <laughs> You're black. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? About the DL6 incident. Right. DL6. <laughs> I didn't want you to find out about it. That is why I refused your offer to defend me. Well, now that I know, can I defend you? No. <laughs> I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you went up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. So, do you think it still would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know. I just can't quit you, right? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask whatever you like, and I will answer to the best of my abilities. Did you kill Hammond because you didn't like the fact that he got the guy who killed your father off innocent? <laughs> yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're crafty, right? <laughs> <laughs> you win this round, right? You always get to the truth. <laughs> the DL6 incident is when my father died. Right before my eyes. He was shot and killed, and I saw it all. My memories from that time are foggy. Just like Lake oh. Gore when I killed Robert Hammond. <laughs> if they're foggy, wait, shit, wait, shit again. A bullfrog. 
<laughs> Suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, a suspect was arrested. A man. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. And that's why they had to get a spirit medium to prove it. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond is the victim in the Gord Lake murder? Correct. He's, um, he's the person you killed last night? Yes. Correct. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Your craft got that. me again. <laughs> You know, I do enjoy our little chess matches. <laughs> I'd like to make you my checkmate. Hey, hey! That spirit medium, that was my mom. What? You mean you're... Strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end. And now, this... It was about to end when I killed Hammond last night. <laughs> about to end. The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. It was nine when it happened. 15 years ago. On December 28th. December 28th? The statute of limitations on the case runs out in three days. What? Um, Nick? What does that mean? What is a statue of lem of licensations? <laughs> it's a proboscis of a knee. I'll tell you when you're older, Maya. <laughs> Actually, really quick, do you want to talk uh, about like statue limitations and how they work? It's, I mean, sure, a statue limitation is just the length before a case can no longer be brought up or charged or prosecuted, whether whether you know prosecuted criminally or sued civilly. There's just a certain amount of time that from the... It, it is it is more complicated because in certain situations it's from the time the injury became apparent, not the time the crime actually occurred. Mm. Um, so it can get quite confusing. So the but time essentially... that we get the updated autopsy report. <laughs> Um, but basically, it's 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 just, it's just the time. It's just the statutorily created time frame from when a case can be brought to court. Gotcha. Is now, that, go ahead, Zach. I was say, what, what's what is like the normal length on that, or does it change like based on the based, crime? Varies by crime. Varies okay. by crime. Gotcha. Yeah. So it's Again, not always fifteen years. No, something like murder will be very very long. Something like battery might be immensely shorter. Gotcha. It, right. it, it it sort of gets longer as the crime is more serious, obviously, because we want less chance for serious crimes to go cold. Gotcha. Honestly, <laughs> and to be fair, I'm pretty sure there is, and I'm, I'm looking this up to confirm, I'm pretty sure there is no statute of limitations on murder. Oh, okay. I, I don't believe it exists. Interesting. And what, what I'm looking up is confirming that. Okay. We're, we're, we're sort of like, we don't really care how long it's been. If you killed someone, you get punished for it. Gotcha. Um, Nick, what does that mean? When a case's statute of limitations runs out legally, the case never happened. <laughs> Is that how you'd word that, Bridge? It, it gets not, Thanos snapped Not out of the existence. language I would use. Yeah. <laughs> Inch, I mean, okay, I guess if they had to, if you had to sum this up in three lines with this, this, font sure so wait in three days edgeworth's dad's gonna come back to life <laughs> <laughs> yeah it never happened so yeah the crime never back. happened i'm gonna get my daddy back <laughs> i can't wait for papa to come home <laughs> <laughs> three days he, from now. he went out for smokes and i haven't seen him since. oh god <laughs> That's why the elevator, that's why my memories are so foggy. Because <laughs> the smoke in the elevator. I told him, Papa, not in the elevator. You know how, <coughs> it's not good for my little boy lungs. <coughs> Shut up, Tiny Tim. <laughs> Edgeworth, your real name is Tim? I didn't want you to find out this way, right? <laughs> Three days from now, DL6 will be closed. Forever. 
Forever? Yes, forever. Forever? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the suspect? The one who got off innocent? I killed him too. <laughs> <laughs> Just like I killed Robert Hammond. Damn it! <laughs> I don't know. He disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. I guess I can understand why you go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal It'd be hard to live a normal life after being such a murder suspect being a murder suspect in such a big case. I don't know. Ask OJ Simpson. Hey. Wah, wah. Okay. Uh, I was gonna say he's kind of he's kind of gone crazy, hasn't he? Oh, he's I think he's in, well, in jail fair, now. He was always he was always crazy. Yeah. Yes, he but lost, he like he lost the he started going crazy. He lost the civil case. Mm -hmm. Um, later got charged with a bunch of other crimes. But hey, those gloves he didn't fit, so you it. must acquit. Yeah. Wrote a I mean, book that's... called "If I Did It." <laughs> yeah, that's the most ballsy fucking thing. I cannot believe. I cannot oh, believe. Wow. The audacity. Um. <laughs> um. So, was your father a lawyer? You mean my dead father? <laughs> Thanks for bringing it up. <laughs> <laughs> he was Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So, you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps. Except for the dying part, obviously. <gasps> Jesus. <laughs> I'd rather not talk about it. <laughs> hmm. Uh, present him the badge again, maybe? Um, I have a glory photo. I want to see if he recognizes himself. <laughs> your attorney's badge. Can't say I really want to see one of those right now. I just had a big lunch and I'm not hungry for cookies. No. Show on the blurry picture. <laughs> Is this you in this picture? <laughs> Who would have thought there'd be a photo? Edgeworth, did you shoot him? Do you think, right? I don't think you're the kind to point a gun at anyone, no. How about now? <laughs> That would be incredible. <laughs> How did you get a gun into the detention center? <laughs> you see the cop just go. <gasps> <laughs> so you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Right. Huh? It pains me to ask you this now. I know. You want us to defend you. Ha ha, you're a loser. <laughs> Maybe want you to water my house plant. I've heard you've gotten very good at watering Charlie. <laughs> yes, we I've heard you I've heard you've gotten gotten a knack. <laughs> yes. Of course we won't. Fuck off. Will, you? <laughs> Will I what? You have to say it, Edgeworth. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have guessed this day would come? Not me. This is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back? For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. Never mind. I guess you don't really need to know. Huh? You forgot our first date. <laughs> <laughs> my letter of request. Please give it to Detective Gumshoe. Please give it to Gumfuck. Along say, with this it? updated autopsy report. <laughs> the autopsy report just says, fuck you, Gumfuck. <laughs> well, I guess we should... What? It's a big one! Ah! <laughs> it's calming down. Whew. That was the shortest earthquake ever. <laughs> What a fucking... Whew, that was scary. Huh? Where's Edgeworth? There. On the floor in a ball, shivering. Oh, I forgot about this. I guess he doesn't do so well with earthquakes. 
I've heard of running, but curling up in a ball? <laughs> wait, wait, do people run during earthquakes? Is that a thing? <laughs> <laughs> I've got to outrun the earthquake, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> well, he seems fine. I guess we're done. <laughs> you okay down there, Edgeworth? <laughs> <laughs> yep, he seems all right. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth doesn't seem like he's going to stand up anytime soon. Let's go, Nick. Jesus. Uh, right. We have to give Edgeworth's... We have to give Edgeworth's letter of request to Detective Gumshoe. Peace, Edgeworth. <laughs> Hope you feel better. <laughs> Papa, no! No, please don't leave me! Good like, God. All right, well... Peace out, dude. Also, I love that the, the fucking police officer is just, like, minding his own fucking business <laughs> while, like, grown-ass man cries in a ball. They don't oh, no, he's, he's, peeing himself. he's peeing himself now. Nope. Oh, oh. <laughs> and who's gonna have to clean that up, huh? <laughs> uh, the chat is debating very much whether uh, Edgeworth or Phoenix tops or bottoms, and that is... A conversation we'll have That's another day. That's question we all need to know. I need to know the answer. I mean, I'll, I'll, throw, I'll throw my two cents in the way I say Edgeworth top, Phoenix bottoms. But. But here, here's the thing, I would, though. I would do the reverse. If... if, if <laughs> never mind. We're getting way too deep into this. Because here's the thing. I feel like Edgeworth is such a... He's such a controlling person in uh -huh. his public life oh yeah, he yeah, yeah. Wants, uh, he's, he's one of those guys who switched dominated. it up in the bedroom it's, it's like yeah. the taboo thing for him but here's yeah, the thing yeah, because he dominated in the bedroom because here's the thing if if he was if he was topping nick he would be have to have to be careful about that spiky hair sometimes it's a good point you know he gets a little too low and all of a sudden <gasps> he, he's a murder victim yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> Just, Enjoying this. Lucia says, Pridge knows what's up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think a lot of the, the chat agrees that Edgeworth is the bottom. All right, there we go. Oh, yeah. What's going on here? <laughs> what's wrong, detective? Wild lady comes in here just a while ago. Says she came to talk to y'all after hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. What's this all about, pal? I uh, found a second witness? Because you dipshits couldn't? Yeah, literally, they were looking all over the park. She was just there. She was a little bit farther than where they... What were they even... Why weren't they looking at the lake where, you know, the murder happened? I'm being better at your job than you, Gumshoe. Damn, what do you expect? It was a lake? <laughs> there was a lake at Gord Lake? God damn it. When are we learn that gumshoe's father was the father was uh the detective in the dl6 incident <laughs> everybody's connected everyone is connected a lot of heart but did you know that larry butts's uncle <laughs> was a was a witness in the dl6 incident <laughs> the dl6 incident the dl6 incident you're that ninja metal gear <laughs> you're you're that prosecutor why are you going around finding more witnesses? You want to give Mr. Edgeworth a death sentence, pal? Uh, no. You know, witnesses can also get someone declared not guilty, too. You know that, right? No, not... A, yes, exactly. Just... I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. That would actually be illegal. I mean, I'll steal evidence. That but is I won't cover it up. Does it all the time. <laughs> Trying to say something about the way I do my job. Now that you mention it, yes. You are bad at it. <laughs> no, sir. Not to your face, at least. Got him. <laughs> so, what did Miss Hart say? She says she saw Mr. Edgeworth fire the pistol fucking didn't. What? She even had a photograph to prove it. That's right. the same photo. Well, she did say she, she said photo. two. She had a photo of a man holding a delicious mozzarella stick. Who's gonna kill him with carbohydrates. Right, I saw it too. You really can't tell from the photo who it is shooting. 
That is why she said she's gonna enlarge the photo. That's not how it works. You can't just enhance a, a shit photo and then all of a sudden it works. <laughs> actually, it will probably look more blurry, actually. She said, it'll drop the quality a mite, but should let us see who's who. That's not, again. <laughs> she can do that? Okay, so there's going to be an enlarged photograph that shows Edgeworth in the act. Great. Just great. In case, she's gonna be the one testifying tomorrow. Huh? What happened to the other witness? Well, apparently there was a cancellation. What? A cancellation? Yeah, the other witness had dinner plans. I'm afraid tomorrow is gonna be life or death for poor Mr. Edgeworth. We got a witness who says she saw the very moment of the murder. We got a photo taken when the shot rang out. I'd say that sounds like a pretty unwinnable case. But wait, what did Mia used to say? If he's innocent, there's gotta be something I've overlooked. Sure. Yeah. Believe it. Sounds like Mr. Edgeworth is gonna ask to the state to assign a public defender. I was just asked to file the paperwork. But you still got time, pal! Go talk to him again. For me, please! You have to convince him. You hear those public pro those public defenders are absolute crap. <laughs> you have to make him uh, something. Sorry. I know you're the only one who could do it, pal. You're the only one who could save Mr. Edgeworth. Uh, really quick, credit wizard in the chat says, Priz, does that happen? Witness cancellations? No. <laughs> like, once again, we're... The problem is this game lives in a world where there's only three days to do a trial. If a witness truly couldn't make it, they just postpone until that witness could. You, mm. If there's a key witness, they're coming to trial. Yeah. A witness can't just be like, nah, I don't want to do it. No, you're going to get subpoenaed and then arrested if you ignore subpoenas. <laughs> right. Uh... And again, like, you know, if, if your dad's having surgery and you have to miss a day, they're just going to postpone the trial until you can't come in. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jay's on the chat says, we're missing the real question here. Is Mia a top or a bottom? And the, the chat is a gr correctly all saying top. Oh, 100%. Oh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> Grass God says, no fucking way she bottoms. Have you seen her? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well. She's, she's, she's boss baby. Come on. <laughs> Look what I got. An updated on. <laughs> Autopsy report. Why are you out of breath, guys? Hey, you, you did it, pal! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm doing my Kegels. Jesus. <sighs> so is Gumshoe a confirmed bottom, then? <laughs> yes, 100%. He's, he's, that's the thing. Edgeworth is a bottom for Phoenix. Gumshoe is a bottom for Edgeworth. Oh, okay. Does sound fairly what? correct. Glad I waited to the last minute to file those papers. I'll rip them up and start new ones for you. Thanks, yeah, Detective. I can throw them around the office. It'll be like confetti. It'll be fun. Just like in court. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, where we get all the confetti we shoot around in court. Shredded up papers. Well, see you in court tomorrow then. Good luck, pal. Hey. I used to feel that earthquake a little while back. I was worried. Worried? Fine. I've lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. Now where is he talking about you? <laughs> yeah. But oh, like... I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, right. He did seem to overreact a little now that you mention it. Well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm gonna go check on him. You two go eat and get yourself get get your rest for tomorrow's trial. Make sure to get some hamburgers. <laughs> Later. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna get some samurai dogs. <laughs> samurai dogs. <laughs>
for what it is with Mr. Edgeworth and earthquakes. It's not like they're scary and could kill you or anything. <laughs> no one's ever died from an earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. He was never that scared of them when he was in school. It's an, earthqu like he... an earthquake killed his father. <laughs> <laughs> we'll and take Hammond the got the earthquake... Court. And Hammond got the earthquake declared innocent. <laughs> <laughs> and they've never found that same earthquake again. <laughs> That's Except the truth. Until now, of it the just DL6. came back. <laughs> <laughs> then again, That's the truth of the DL6 incident. <laughs> <laughs> then again, I was only in the same class as him for fourth grade. He transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. His father got fucking murdered, Phoenix. Where have you been this whole day? Phoenix, you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> Wizard says, Edgeworth is weak to ground types. <laughs> True. It's super effective. <sighs> I'm, forever on the, I'm forever on the lookout for the earthquake that killed my father. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Garchomp came in and just fucking one-shot him. Uh, Nick is stupid. Yes, agreed. Um, all right, well... Man, fucking, I felt like we were moving at a good pace there, and it was still oh, two hours and 15 minutes. That is going to do it for another episode of Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer. Again, if you like the show, you can watch it live on twitch.tv slash team. We, we record it live every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, and if you can't, no big deal. Again, the edited versions go up the following Monday at, uh, well, just any time during the day. Um... I think that's it. Oh, if you are enjoying the series, please uh, follow us on different Instagrams. Join our Discord. Uh, we have a very awesome and active community there. Uh, and if you feel like uh, supporting us, head over to our Patreon. Like we, we really, really do appreciate it. Uh, and if you like Wes's stuff, go to uh, sdffpodcast.com. TFF. Damn it. S I don't know why I said D. Stranger Dan Fan Fiction. <laughs> Stranger than fan fiction. Uh, yes, stffpodcast.com for Wes's podcast there. And uh, yeah, I think, that's, uh, I think that's all the plugs. But thank you all so much again for watching. And uh, we'll see you next time for a very exciting character I can't wait to get revealed.